Hey, good morning. Welcome to the channel today. So this is one of our tips when it gets really cold. We've had some getting into the teens or actually getting about 10 degrees above zero and that's uh, Fahrenheit. So it's pretty cold for Texas. Uh, we had it drop really cold last week. We had three or four days. It takes a day or two for the house really, your house to lose the temperature that it already had built up. But if it stays cold like that, it keeps dropping. So as much as I hate to do little things like this, that's a space heater. Um, and what it is, is I put it in a bathroom. Uh, the rest of the house is a lot cooler, but I want it warm in here. I want to take a shower when I'm getting up in the morning when I'm getting ready. And as you can see, I got my long johns and I got multiple layers on, uh, but my feet get cold. I'm out in the cold all the time. So when I'm home, I really want it nice and warm. Uh, you got to be careful about space heaters though because they pull so many amps. Uh, that one's got a high and a low on it. It's got a temperature setting on it and it's a little ceramic one and it's super nice. So you can actually set the temperature and you can make it oscillate. Uh, but you got to remember that your cord, you know, when that thing's cranking wide open, uh, that thing's pulling, those things can pull maybe 12 to 15 amps. And that's usually what that outlet's rated for. So if you got a bunch more outlets, or a bunch more appliances on these outlets, it can end up blowing a break or something like that. But they're great for space heating or like little zoning. So like if you had it in a bedroom at night and you close the doors and want to get, get the bedroom warm, you can do that. You just have to be real careful of those because you don't want to burn up wiring and stuff like that. So be careful because a lot of wall outlets sometimes are grouped on, there's like a whole series of them together. So if you had one on the other side of the wall plugged in too, you're pulling too much power through it. So. Anyways, hopefully that's a money saving tip for you. And if you get a little bit warm, heat pumps will start struggling when they get that cold. Give us a holler. We can set you up with the right thermostats and help you with the settings, uh, all that. So we also had, there was a, bit, a bunch of customers we've been hearing about, uh, been getting calls about that uh, atmos, the gas pressures are getting so low that their appliances are shutting off. So we're talking water heaters, gas furnaces, all that. So uh, your system might be struggling, but you know, hey, if it's working and you're within a few degrees of the set point, then it should be good at this point. Um, design temperatures around this area is probably in the 40 degree area, 42 degrees for winter temps. So it's really not designed to do like 10 degrees. So especially if you have a wind blowing 40 or 50 miles an hour like we did the other day. So anyways, hope this helps. Have a great weekend. Happy, 